So we are here at Suze Khan. Uh, can you please quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, happy to. Uh, my name is Gerald Pfeiffer. I lead the products and technology programs teams. And what it essentially means is those are the guys who do the roadmaps. Uh, product management, who, who work with customers, partners, uh, gathering requirements, proposing new products sometimes, and uh, we have two this year that, that we're launching. Um, but also the teams that work at the technical level with our technology partners, so think hardware certification, think uh, software certifications, um, all the guys who make sure SUSE is available in uh, all the major public clouds. Uh, now let's talk about the, because the leap, uh, OpenSUSE and SUSE kind of less came together closer. Before that was two different words. Uh, so, so can you uh, quickly tell about what is upstream for what? Because from what I understand, things going tumbleweed. I think factory where you code dump and then it goes tumbleweed. Then less pick something, SUSE picks something, and then again, you know. Uh, so can you please quickly talk about the flow of the code? Yes. Um, so we have OpenSUSE and, and uh, as a project, um, which is now more than just a Linux distro, but uh, OpenSUSE now features two Linux distributions actually. One is OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is the, is the leading edge. Sometimes a little bleeding though, um, there is a lot of, of automatic quality assurance going on and we, we can talk about that a little later. Um, so that's, that's Tumbleweed, and Tumbleweed is the upstream of SUSE Linux Enterprise. So when it comes to doing uh, something like SUSE Linux Enterprise 15, we actually use Tumbleweed as, as the base for that, and do, then do the features, add potentially additional components, do, do the whole quality assurance cycle for enterprise distribution, etc. Um, so that's a natural flow that you would know from other open source projects where you have the upstream and then you create the product um, out of that. That offers services, support, maintenance, security, the, the full game. Um, what we realized is there was a significant number of people um, in the OpenSUSE community or elsewhere who actually wanted to have a little bit more stability than Tumbleweed would offer. Um, but did not want to go for a full-fledged enterprise distribution. And so um, we did something which, which uh, is actually really innovative, which I don't think anyone else has, has been doing in that way, where we said, okay, let's offer um, our enterprise code, what we have in Susan Linux Enterprise, and offer that as upstream and give back to the OpenSUSE community. And Thus, OpenSUSE Leap was created, which is based on SUSE Linux Enterprise packages, um, especially for the core components, the base, the lower levels, but takes the liberty, um, and it's their decision, it's, it's a decision of the OpenSUSE community to what extent they want to do that, um, to also consume newer aspects from OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Um, so in a way that, that gives you gives you a longer um, life cycle, that gives you some, some of the benefits of SUSE Linux Enterprise. It may give you some innovation quicker than you would get from, uh, from regular SUSE Linux Enterprise. Um, and it's, uh, what, what I, if I look around at, at SUSECon or other venues, is actually what I see uh, a fair number of open source developers, our own, our own engineers, people in my organization, et cetera, um, Use tend to use um, OpenSUSE Leap as as this mixture of of, of the two. Uh, now the, the interesting thing is that uh, if we if we can use the Game of Thrones analogy, you know the OpenSUSE community is like the community of free folks, you know, the, the the king beyond the wall kind of thing. And the SUSE is you know the engineers you know who work with SUSE. So how do you kind of uh, and, and at the same time the needs of the OpenSUSE community with their distribution Leap could be different from what you want in SLES, right? So, so, so sometimes, you know, they, uh, and before that, uh, when I talked to Richard Brown, who is chairman of Open, he said, you know, that with, uh, with Leap, it's uh, more or less like 99% SLES, 99% uh, tumble, sorry, 33% tumbleweed and 33% previous Leap. So it's like a very perfect mix of all three. 
but from the from the community you know or you how do you maintain this balance you know to to cater to everybody's need do you understand the question yeah i think so uh -huh. well so part of the answer is we need to stop and we have stopped talking about this is SUSE and this is community um, it's really uh, what makes this successful what makes open SUSE successful but i think ultimately SUSE as a player in as a key player in open source is that we are part of the communities so it's it's actually a dichotomy i've i've been f i've been uh, attacking fighting as as early as 10 years ago i said you know let's not let's not talk about this is SUSE, this is the community because that's wrong at, at actually at least two levels number one there is no such thing as as the community um, I mean, every open source project has their own community, has their own identity. And even if I look into at OpenSUSE, there are many of us who identify with OpenSUSE. So I'm, I'm a member of, of, of the OpenSUSE community. Uh, by the way, I'm running OpenSUSE, but I'm running Tumbleweed even. Um, but within the OpenSUSE community, there is, there is a GNOME community, for example, and a KDE community. And they're the kernel people. Um, and so uh, what I think is absolutely key for SUSE or anyone who wants to be successful in open source um, for more than like a year or so is you need to be part of the community. And, um, and so talking about you know, requirements, desires, if you wear several hats, you know, I do, I'm responsible for, uh, for for business on the on the SUSE, the company side, but I'm also a member of the Open SUSE community, and you know I I don't contribute code these days. It's mostly bug reports and other things. Um, then you get this understanding, and you look at things and say, look, this is that doesn't help what we need to do on the what we want to do on the enterprise side. Can we contribute something to Open SUSE, or can we contribute earlier to to make this a smoother? path for us on the enterprise side or I look into it as an open SUSE user and say in that sucks can't can't we do better can we support open SUSE can we just contribute um, additional testing for example um, and, and you know one thing that came out of that and that was more a grassroots that's not an edict that Niels gave um, but uh, is, is open QA where you know we realized people were t were making jokes about factory as it was called originally or tumbleweed being broken and too risky is that okay what can we do about that because a, a more stable distribution actually helps everyone using that helps the open SUSE community well turns out it did and as i said i'm using i'm using tumbleweed myself for my business work at SUSE but equally, OpenQA has been instrumental in what we've been doing around SUSE Linux Enterprise. I've, I forgot the number, I'm sure Richard can tell you. Um, but it was a very significant number of automated runs we have done with, with Service Pack 3 alone based on OpenQA. So not 100%, but I think a very large number of things that we do for the sake of one, actually initially for the sake of one, actually provide significant benefit for the for for the other uh, which is really a win-win uh, yeah i'm also a tumblebead user so i can uh, uh, imagine how many bucks reports you're filing you know because it's like rolling release distribution uh before we wrap up one last question is that we have seen after the success of leap and tumbleweed and slash uh, we have seen that cubic is also moving in the same direction where you have cast platform and the cubic is the community platform so will we see the same pattern with other suze product like in storage you have a lot of you know or OpenStack, you have OpenStack distribution. Do you see the same uh, to build a, a fully, you know, community-driven kind of project so that you can get a lot of feedback from community for storage, for OpenStack, and other things also? So, I'm very open to that. There is no reason why wearing my business hat, I would say, let's not do this. Um, and I'm, from all I know is actually we have, we have OpenStack out there. So our OpenStack distribution, as it's developed, is is in, in the open build service as well. Um, I'm not sure, 
it's equally applicable to every um, it's equally applicable to every product um, storage and that's not me saying I don't want that I haven't seen that interest from the community yet um, but if there is interest I don't see why we wouldn't want to do that I'm just a, I'm, I just don't want to create one of those fake open source projects and fake communities that's essentially only employees of the company that that wouldn't be that wouldn't benefit anyone um, but you have seen us you have seen us go beyond just the Linux distro um, and uh, we'll, we will be happy assuming there is interest and the dynamics um, to, to open this up even further. Thanks a lot for your time and hopefully we'll see each other again at the next SUSECON. Uh, hopefully before then. <laughs>